looks pretty good so far. I do have to say. Here are Harmonia. Welcome to Naranja Academy. This here is the entrance hall. You can set for all kinds of classes at the desk behind me. And those halls off to the sides lead to different parts of the school. It's totally big enough to let loose and battle in here, but for some reason they banned Pokemon battling in the main entrance. I can't imagine why they would possibly ban letting your crazy powerful creatures fight one another indoors in a very expensive looking building. Don't jinx it once saying that it looks good so far. <laughs> we'll see. That's the Harmonia, Miss Nimona. I've just gotten back from my daily routine of breaking and entering. How did you find your first school commute? Um, it was tough. Oh dear, was it really? I suppose Miss Nimona must have led you on quite the adventure. Well, and I also got teleported back home by knee-deep water at one point. I thought I was expecting any less from our champion-ranked student council president. Libel as ever, Miss Nimona. Well, I know I have to, how to look after my friends, right, Harmonia? No, oh, but speaking of which, we saw some of those Team Star kids in town, Director. You did? Where? Where can I find them? <laughs> it was down the stairs from the front gate. They were hassling this kid with an Eevee backpack and, like, freaking Nintendo Switch themed to look in hair. Just like, uh, just like Fire Emblem and Gage coming up here. That is quite the news. Are they still to be found out there? Are they still lurking out in the shadows? <laughs> Actually, Harmonia flexed on him and ran him off. <laughs> you know, when he was saying, are they still out there? It was almost, I was almost tempted to imagine him saying something like, uh, did you finish the job? Or did you leave them to strike another day? You don't say. Of course, it's a fine thing to help a fellow student, Master Harmonia. But you might wish to show a bit of restraint as you find your feet here at our academy. And Mr. Mona, do remember that the school's staff is here to resolve any such troubles. Uh, right. Yes, sir, Director. A child with an Eevee backpack, you say? I suppose that might have been Miss Penny. I'm relieved to hear she's come to class, at least. And, Miss Nimona, if you'd be so good, do report to Mr. Jack about this Team Star business. As your homeroom teacher, you should be kept apprised of all... of all such goings-on. That's how that's spelled, right? I, like, it's probably a word that I've heard, but I've never seen spelled out before, so it just is unfamiliar to my eyes. You got it, sir. Ah, uh, but look at the time. You two had better hurry along. Classes will be starting soon. Or maybe I'm getting confused appraised, I guess. But yeah, um... <laughs> We're in class 1A, Harmonia. Come on, I'll show you the way. Okay. That's a sword and shield looking like transition. Wow, you know that it's a wacky game when even the uh, loading screen itself is lagging sometimes. Oh my goodness! Are you kidding me with that? FPS on... Like, I know I shouldn't be surprised at this point considering what we've seen so far, but... This is a full-priced game. By the highest grossing media IP in the world. I see they're remaining on the top as highest grossing by cutting costs wherever they can. Since, you know, with a name like Pokemon, it'll sell well no matter what. This is under 20? Probably, yeah. <laughs> Good morning to Mr. Jack! Hello, hello everyone. Hope you like my hexagon glasses. That was some exciting news this morning. Who wants to hear it? Do we get to play a better game? Uh, me, I want to hear the news. We'll get to play a bunch of games during the 24-hour cherry stream. I suppose I should have told you sooner, but we have a new little friend joining our happy homeroom as of today. <laughs> whisper, whisper, whisper. I wonder what they'll be like. All right, you can come on in. Oh yeah, I was going to take off these glasses as well. Because it doesn't seem like it makes it things look any better here. My good gracious. Do you see that kid with the blue hat blinking on the left? <laughs> there isn't even, you know, the eyelids going down. It just is a sudden cut where it's just like... Eyes closed? Eyes open? And now I'm starting to notice it on other students as well. G get me out of here, please. I... Oh my goodness. Can I trouble you for a few words introducing yourself? This morning, three in the morning, I made that shrine on my old truck, praying for this to be a good game. I, I guess the Pokemon gods weren't happy with my shrine. Illusion of choice, huh? It's all common collected. He's pretty cool. <laughs> but due to graphic errors, they changed shape. Yeah, we didn't have enough polygons to make it look more round. 
Looks like everyone's eager to get to know you, Harmonia. Alright then. Who wants to be the first to ask our new friend a question? At least, like, the main human, you know, models do look good and stuff, though. Like, I can say for sure the hexagon glasses aren't because of, you know, limitations in that there. Though it is pretty funny to joke about it. <laughs> the three FPS children. <laughs> hey, me, can I ask a question? <laughs> Maybe I'm gonna get bullied by the other students. Look, it's one of those 30 FPS kids. Um, what's your favorite thing about Pokemon? Not this. Oh, man. I don't know. You think it's probably 10 to 15? I'd like to see, uh... I'd love to see some people that can actually analyze this or, you know, use some software that actually measures how much FPS it is. Actually figure out what it is. I mean, I could probably slap this in my video editor and just go frame by frame and figure it out. I feel like the result would scare me, though. I mean, what's even surprising at this point? Hello! <laughs> the three people moving are doing, like, the exact same... <laughs> really awesome! I'm totally the same! Hey, what else? I have a question for the new classmate. Yeah! Why do your reviews suck? Uh, Mimi, I have a question. You went to all the trouble of enrolling here, so spill, Harmonia. What do you hope to get out of it? You must have some kind of dream, right? Honestly, the reason why I'm here, all I hope to get out of it is just <laughs> doing a series that people enjoy tuning into because I'm not having a massive ton of fun playing it so far um, and doing like a video essay thing or Bob on it because, you know, the ones done so far on the channel have shown that like this is something that people are actually really interested in seeing from me and a lot of people have told me like, hey, we're looking forward to seeing how the series plays out, this playthrough and uh, and see in the uh, video essay when it eventually comes out so honestly i'm doing it because other people want to see it and you know see my review my video essay and stuff like that and just generally see how this plays out i'm <laughs> that's my reason that's my dream right there i'm gonna make a video on this game i'm gonna be a strong content creator that makes, like, really good arguments and stuff is what I'm gonna strive for. You will be. Oh, I just know it. You and me, we're gonna get so strong battling together. Well, thank you for telling us a bit about yourself, Harmonia. I'm Mr. Jack. I teach biology here at the academy. And I'm also your homeroom teacher. <laughs> I don't want to be here. <laughs> That's your seat. Second row to the front. Please get me out of here. All right, you ragamuffins. All right, you ragamuffins. Be nice and friendly to our new classmate. <laughs> We will, Mr. Jack. Um, I'm sorry for your money, Harmonia. I hope they fire whoever, what, did this, what, the FPS in here. I mean, to be fair, the, uh, when I eventually publish the video essay on this game, I'll be recouped what I paid for this game, is technically the case, you know? <laughs> like, I have, I have no doubt about that. But, yeah. You know, there's a lot of people who you know, have seen some of my video essays before and would go to, like, the beginning of playthroughs of mine, like Legends Arceus, and be like, oh my goodness, you, uh, you have, like, these video essays criticizing these games, and then you bought it anyway. What the heck? You're supporting the very thing that you say, like, isn't all that great? What the heck? That just shows that we can't trust you to, you know, trust any of your opinions because of that. I got a decent few of that those when I started my Legends Arceus playthrough. I haven't gotten any comments like that on this series yet, but it's probably only a matter of time before I start getting some comments like that on uh, videos of this series. It's honestly only a matter of time. But, to clarify, as I'm sure everyone already knows this, but for the very small percentage of the people who don't, I'm doing this for review purposes, okay? You know, I'm not doing this because it's like, ah, I, um, I say that the quality of this isn't that great. But I'm like Squidward freaking hiding his love for Krabby Patties and secretly, you know, going into the storeroom in the back and indulging in them because I secretly actually love- I mean, I do love Pokemon. Like, look at my freaking room in here. Like, obviously I love Pokemon. Just not the modern games. Um, I'm doing it for review purposes, you know? Like, yeah, I paid money for this game to play and review it. But in the process of me covering this game, there might be a lot of people who see this and are like, wow, I- I'm not getting that now. Or maybe there will be some people that see this and are like, hey, the gameplay's fun. I don't mind the, uh, you know, the graphical hits and, you know, the lack of polish. I'm gonna, you know, get it anyway. And 
you know, that's everyone's individual choice, each their own. Like, I, I don't care. But I'm doing this for review purposes, especially considering, you know, a lot of people that would be covering Pokemon are just the people that are going to be like, aha, this is, this is great, no matter what. Like, wow, like, maybe it sucks a little bit that it's, you know, not all that fleshed out. But new Pokemon game, wow, emote, thumbnail reactions, you know, stuff like that for so many content creators. Um, so, you know, I also like offering, you know, a more analytical perspective and a perspective that does actually care about these things, you know, because, you know, not everyone will, you know, anyway. So, yeah, that's that's why I'm here. Yeah, people complain because I bought the game. When you say one who reviews someone without buying it? Yeah, like, genuinely, what would they expect me to do? Just, like, watch other people play the game and just, you know, roughly guess what it's like without playing it myself? Like, if you're a food review, this is an analogy that I've used before, where if you're a food reviewer and you have nigger reviews at this one restaurant, are you just not going to do your job and not review the food there anymore? Or are you expected to just, like, peer in through the window, watching other people eating the food, and, like, jot down some notes being like, hmm, I think that it's like this, judging from their reactions and stuff. Um, you know? <laughs> like, no. I'm doing it because it's my freaking, it's my job. It's my business. I'm actually going to register this channel as an official business, like, very soon. Like, once I have some time, probably sometime next week, I'm going to go to a registry and figure out how to register my truck properly. And I'm actually going to register as a business because apparently there's, like, some uh, tax benefits that you can get for, you know, wages that you're paying the staff and stuff like that. So, what I'm paying uh, Eagle for, uh, for some editing around this channel, apparently I can get some better benefits if I officially register as a business, so... This is quite literally my business, and it will be officially very soon. I mean, for tax purposes, whenever I'm filing taxes for the channel, I already am, like, officially a business from that perspective, so, you know. But yeah, people are like, man, you bought the game. That means that you're supporting it. That means that, you know, your critical opinions can't be acknowledged at all, and then denouncing me. So there's that, you know? But yeah. You, you can look at this interior. We can't look at this interior without cringing. I assume that is a low hello mythic. How goes it? I'm sick. I'm under the weather. I'm losing my mind. But we're chilling, I guess. I um, think you're still getting the game. Not gonna lie, but it's gonna gonna get it used for sure. Yeah, that's that's understandable there. Uh, get to know the academy campus by exploring a bit on your own. I think I mentioned this during the uh, first session. Wow. Look at this turning radius for the camera. What's the point of being able to turn the camera if you can only turn it this much? So I'm going to take off the uh, glasses, I think, now. It doesn't make the game look any better. <laughs> All right, remove. Yeah, $70 Canadian dollars of charity filed in your taxes. How what? Wait, how what? I might have missed the joke. I'm sorry. <laughs> but yeah, I, uh, I might have mentioned this. I think I did mention this during the first stream. But when I was chatting with some people in line for this game, a general consensus from a lot of people seemed to be that they weren't, you know, super confident in the performance and quality of the game, like, you know, in terms of how fleshed out it is, but still wanted to pick it up anyway because, you know, see firsthand how, you know, the next Pokemon games turned out as Pokemon fans and stuff. And it made me wonder how many people are buying the game for that reason of, you know, you know, just wanting to play the next Pokemon game because it's Pokemon, you know, essentially. But yeah, gonna be lurking so I have it. No, that's perfectly fine. Real life is a thing there. Do I just leave now? Now move around the school. Check out places on the map where you see that someone might be hanging around. Perhaps you'll discover something. So the teacher's not here. Everyone are still in their desks, just chilling there. For some reason. Uh, choose location and start exploring. Like, that's one way to feel robotic-y 101. Ah, so Mr. Dudo that pawned off his legendary on me is over here. I guess. This is what's going on over here. Um, no, no, I'm not trying to leave. I didn't even step into the doorway. Hey, look, there's a Zorua. I have my Zorua right here, actually. You can just barely see there. <laughs> That's the case. I'm high. I'm high. Hope your sights are going okay. You're not even facing me. What do you have today? <laughs> You're not even facing me. Oh, five alarm sandwich? Peanut butter sandwich. What kind of peanut butter are you using? The mayonnaise peanut butter? What the heck is that? Potato salad sandwich, pickle sandwich, egg sandwich. Is this just like three pickles put in between bread? That... 
had a friend who claimed he filed a game for charity because he hated it. He gave it a charity and filed the game in his taxes. Oh. <laughs> and here, full price games are $80 Canadian, actually, rather than 70 I wish they were 70 But it's 80 unfortunately. Why are you marked as, like, a side quest thing, Rob? I heard online that apparently people that are yellow are, like, side quest related things. Or maybe it's just, like, people that you can interact with to get something going. Maybe that's all that's going on there. Okay, well. It's the way we go. Hi. Oh, hey. So we meet again. You remember me, right? Wouldn't you want me to forget you if you just tried to pawn off the legendary army and then skedaddle? Um, I don't think we've met. But come on. I gave you Karidon's Pokeball. I forget to introduce myself. Oh, the name's Arvin. No need to tell me your name. Harmonia, right? The whole school seems to be talking about you. Why? The new kid who showed up with the president of the school the school council. I can't words today. I normally wouldn't even bother showing up for class, but I came all the way to school today just to talk with you, our new celebrity. You gotta help me out so I can finally make my dream a reality. Um, what's his dream first? He would answer anyway, right? Heh, <laughs> caught your interest, have I? You wanna hear all about my dream, right? To make more long-haired male characters in video games. <laughs> well, this might come as a surprise, but fact is, I'm all about that picnic life. The great outdoors. The perfectly prepared sandwiches, all of it. Not half bad at cooking either, I can tell you. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, different regional differences there. Right now, I'm researching new recipes that'll help Pokemon feel better. Real health food, see? I found this book the other day, and it had a section about these Herba Mystica things. Basically, there's some kind of special herbs that heal up any Pokemon as soon as it eats them. Now, there are a total of five different... Hold on. I'm not seeing it anymore. It was just one brief flash. It was that same visual effect that was on uh, the chairman dudo at the beginning of the game. Oh, I think I just saw it again briefly. Hold on, wait. Am I actually losing my mind? I'm not seeing it happening anymore. I don't even know what's real anymore. Um, now there are total of five different types of Herba Mystica based on what I read. Just taking a little devious lick of them once they've been powdered will get your blood flowing. Provide nutrients, prevent aging, and it'll even boost the immune system. These herbs seem like they're the real deal. That, oh, there it is! That- Whoa! <laughs> like I said in the first session, that's just like the freaking straight up Morbius visual effects right there. Is what that is. I would know I watched Morbius for the first time on my flight to Italy. And... So dang boring. Um... Only found here in Paldea and rare to boot. But the book says they're all guarded by Titan Pokemon. I mean, that's gotta be pretty tough to try to grab even a few sprigs. You see, Titans are... Well, I think they've gotta be things like this. Um, Monsters of Area Zero. As we descended further into Area Zero, we began to catch glimpses of mysterious Pokemon. Though we wondered if these huge, ferocious beasts were indeed Pokemon at all. One of our teams suffered a brutal blow from such a beast and was mortally wounded, forcing us to retreat for a time. A member of the survey team captured this photograph by chance. I noticed a passing resemblance to the Pokemon known as Donphan, yet differences such as its sheer size and the shape of its back set it apart, as do its great tusks. I really want to get those herbs for myself, but I'm not very good at Pokemon battles. Well, maybe you'd be good at Pokemon battles if you didn't just pawn off your legendary Pokemon on me. But what do I know? I don't have any friends with strong Pokemon to lend me a hand either. Well, I wonder what the solution to that problem could have been, huh? I never, and I never hear the end of it if I went crawling to that student council girl. But here you, Walt. You've got to help me out with this. You'd be perfect. Yeah, I'll accept. I can't turn down a request for a fellow long-haired guy. No, wait, I don't need an answer yet. I'll just register the places where it seems there might be titans in your map app for you. Oh, <laughs> look at his phone case. I like it. False Dragon Titan, Quaking Earth Titan, Open Sky Titan, Stony Cliff Titan, Lurking Steel Titan. Titan's Lairs have been added to your map app. Path of Le- Oh, okay. So it's that story thing, Rebob. You know, if our phones are self-aware, it's only a matter of time until they, uh, <laughs> rise up against us right now. Let's do it a bit. We can get more into the details later. And in the meantime, take this. 
Look at the fruit in that basket. Why does it look so good? Like, there's so many things in this game that don't look great. But that basket fruit actually looks awesome. Like, that looks better than a freaking Fire Emblem Three Houses meal. And, I mean, the meals in Fire Emblem Three Houses didn't look super great. I feel like they looked a lot better in Three Hopes. I also lose my mind. I'm getting mixed up with other games. But off the top of my head, that's the case, at least. Like, I'm so confused at the fact that there's so many things in this game that look so bad and so many things that look so good. Like, that fruit. That looks good. What the heck? Um, I'll see you in a bit when I get more into the details later. In the meantime, take this. Oh, gift for listening and all. Take a bag of stardust. You put the bag of stardust in your bag's treasures pocket. Stardust, lovely red sand that flows between the fingers with a loose, silky feel. It can be sold at low prices shops. Give the idea some serious thought, please. Okay. Yeah, maybe. Maybe that's what it is. Or maybe they were just like the ones that are gonna, you know, be a lot more intense on the console. Let's turn them down a decent bit. This pressure cooker and these fruit straight up look like they're from different games. That is pretty good looking fruit though, not gonna lie. But also the fact that none of these things have shadows <laughs> make them all look like, you know, different assets that were just plopped down haphazardly. Roto, do, 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 do. <gasps> this is Harmonia, correct? I hacked your smartphone so I could talk to you. Hope you don't mind. What do you mean, hacked? Well, as far as you're concerned, that means I'm basically in control of your phone right now. Is it my phone self-aware? It has a freaking Rotom in it. Like, <laughs> did you hijack the mind of my Rotom? My name's Cassiopeia. But never mind that. It's you I want to talk about. I hear you're a trainer with serious potential. If that description is accurate, there's something I'd like to ask of you. Tell me, Harmonia. You know about Team Star, right? Look how angry I am. How dare you hack my phone? <laughs> um, no, not the doggy pics. I don't know them. Nice try, but I know for a fact you've already crossed paths with them, then what's the point of the question? Team Star is a group of troublemakers formed by some academy students a while back. They cause headaches for the school and try to bring other students down to their level. And I refuse to sit by and let them get away with it. Or trying to bring other students down to their level? I... Is it really that big of a concern when... Most of the students, as I'm looking around here, look like they're freaking slightly older than toddlers. So, I've come up with a plan to bring down Team Star and force them to disband for good. I call it Operation Starfall. But I'll need allies to carry out this operation, and I'd like you to be one of them. You're gonna have to adopt a hacker voice, too. No. No need to reply right this second. We can discuss the details some other time. Till then, I'll leave you two. Bye. <laughs> now I'm happy! <laughs> ah, Master Harmonia. Please do try to keep your hacker voice down if you're making calls with the school, won't you? <laughs> but, if someone's hacked my phone, I gotta do my hacker voice! This is a freaking cafeteria. Wouldn't you think this would be an area that'd be pretty loud with, like, everyone talking anyway? What What's the concern here? I don't want anyone else overhearing any personal information after all. I mean, that's pr very presumptuous about my call then. Honestly, there are so many things we need to be careful about in this day and age. Like buying unfinished games. On you go then, young man. Doodaloo. Team Star, you say? So he overheard, huh? So Mr. Dudo overheard that then, huh? Hmm. Well? Um, is there anything else that I want to do here? Where do you want to go? Um, I guess there's a conversation to do here. I'll just, like, get all these quests started. And I'll probably wrap up the stream in a stream. Still gotta grab some foods and then, uh, you know conk out for the 24-hour charity stream tomorrow oh my goodness that 
book or pages in his hand were like despawning briefly if I'm not seeing things. Again, I don't even know what's real anymore. <laughs> um, very well, Champion Nimona. I trust you to handle this in my stead. Sure thing, you can count on me. In fact, I bet this is gonna be fun. I'm glad to hear it. Good day then. Oh, pardon me. Oh, Harmonia, hey. Um, she looked awesome! <laughs> Could I? She sure is. That lady is, well, they call her La Primera. Time of my starting, 6 a.m. Mountain Time is the plan. Can find the uh, full schedule plan with the uh, exclamation point schedule here. Is the case. She's strong, she can do pretty much anything. She's got cool practically coming out of her ears. She's basically everything I want to be, or that any Pokemon trainer would want to be, really. Oh, which reminds me, remember in Homeroom when I asked what your dream is? Yeah, to make one in-depth video on this game. <laughs> well, since your heart's already set on becoming a really strong trainer, I've got an idea for you. Or maybe I should just say since your heart's already set on making one video on this game. In addition to all these ones, but you know, one in-depth, highly edited video essay. You should try to reach champion rank like me. Yeah, I will! Oh, wow, hang on, though. I've got a whole spiel I want to give you. Here goes. The trainers who reach champion rank are the ones who raise their Pokemon really strong. They're pro-tier battlers. Their moves keep crowds absolutely on the edge of their seats. You have to prove yourself to the Pokemon League to officially get the title of champion. And to do that, you have to do more than just take classes here. You've got to take on eight Pokemon gyms and win so you can collect their gym badges. Once you've done all that, all that's left is a special chest. Chest? Test. My goodness gracious. The champion assessment. I guess I saw the C in champion and lost my mind. Once you pass that, then at long last you'll be a champion. That's every Pokemon trainer's dream. The coolest title anyone could ever hope to get. It's so cool that it's something literally anyone who beats the game is gonna get. Not to brag or anything. I reached champion rank during our last treasure hunt, you know. Oh, the treasure hunt is a special independent study thing we've got here. Should happen soon. Our, one, our last one started not long after the beginning of this school year. Yeah, sounds like an easy way to bring revenue into the school. Get the kids to go out and get, get treasure. Give it to the school. Generous donation. It's great. You got to leave school to have an adventure and learn however you want. Wow. So the program at the school is basically leave the school, figure it out. Man, if this, uh, if this school is making revenue, I would love to just like open a school. <laughs> make, make money off of my school by just being like, yeah, you want lessons? Go out there and figure it out. We don't have to do anything. <laughs> I guess you could say my journey to becoming a champion was the treasure I found, maybe. The real treasure was the FPS we didn't find along the way. I don't know if that's the answer I'm looking for. Anyway, I've got a feeling I'd be able to get even stronger if you and I were both working at it. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Go and figure it out. Let me go ahead and save the gym's location in your map app in case you decide to go for it. Hey! Wait! Mortis! During the last stream, you were like, oh no! Now Harmonia is one of those content creators, reviewers, that's like comparing things to Dark Souls slash Elden Ring. Ha! Now you're guilty! Caught in the act! Red Hat, uh, let me go ahead and save the gym's locations in your map app in case you decide to go for it. <laughs> I like that phone case. So those are the gyms, huh? Does it say, like, what level they're gonna be? Alright, the Pokemon Gym locations have been added to your map. <laughs> Blame you. There's Medali Gym. Oh, you can tell he's an edgelord because his back is turned to the camera. We've got Montenev... Wait. Montenevera Gym, which is Ghost-type over there. You can tell that they're slightly edgy because backwards hat... I think that's a backwards hat. It's hard to tell. Um... Glaciado gym with the ice type gym leader there that I remember everyone was uh, losing their mind at the reveal of being like wow she's so cute and then apparently it came out that the gym leader is a dude apparently we've got Lavincia gym oh, can I do that one last just like you know every cringe content creator rolled into one um our Tazon gym you have freaking like edgy whip grass guy um you've got Cascarafa gym who What do you even look like you're from? I don't know if I want to name anything here. 
I don't know. You look like you would be the mascot of some freemium game or something like that. Got Cortondo Gym, which is some bug bish, and Alfornada Gym. I have no idea. I oh, just briefly saw her. Victory Road. All right, so here's the three stories. Give it some thought. All right, see ya. <coughs> here's my plan. So, oh, I'll tell you the plan in a hot second. Calling Master Harmonia to the director's office, please. <gasps> That's me! Once again, Master Harmonia to the director's office, please. Alright. You're someone important, aren't you? Who are you? Maybe I'll do that before we wrap up the stream. Take a time of your day to attempt to converse with me. You must be absolutely mad. Oh, okay. But yeah. Anyway. Um, where you want to go? Guess we'll go to the uh, director's office in a hot second. So anyway, I want to outline my plan for this series. So... These three stories, you can apparently do them in whatever order, because of the whole open world thing, and I guess you can do the gyms in whatever order. But apparently this game doesn't have level scaling. Which means that the game most likely expects you to do a little bit of each story, you know, until you've eventually done them all, like, go through them at a relatively even pace. Kind of like Octopath Traveler, in a way, where it's like... You're probably meant to do all the chapter 1s, then all the chapter 2s, then all the chapter 3s, then all the chapter 4s. You could commit, like, all the way through to the end of one story just like that, but, you know, the leveling is going to be all weird if you do that, so. Because this game, from what I hear, doesn't have level scaling, I want to do an experiment for science to see if committing to one story through to the end ruins the game experience for the other ones. Because if so, that would be like a major flaw of this uh, game, and I'm curious if that's the case. Because as I discussed in our discussion, like just before this game came out, in Pokemon Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl, when I sequence broke the Sunny Shore to do that gym early, it was the most fun I had in the entire playthrough when I treated that linear game like an open world game, essentially, by doing things out of order and doing, you know, the gym a little bit earlier than it was expecting me to. Because it actually was able to challenge me a bit more, and I was like, huh, that's pretty cool. But, as a consequence, when I eventually went back to do the gyms that I had skipped, since they were just, like, much easier now, it just made those even less fun than they would have otherwise been. I'm still glad that I did it. It gave me a fun experience in the Sunny Shore gym. But, you know, it worsened the rest of my game experience from there when I went back to go do the stuff that I had skipped past. And I'm worried that if this game doesn't have level scaling, that it would be like that if you do one story all the way through to the end and then do the other stories. So, I plan on committing to the League Challenge, and, you know, bum-rushing that through to the end, and, you know, having some challenge by just doing, like, the one story then, and seeing how that goes. And then that'll also allow me to get to, like, the Pokemon League, like, early-ish, relatively, and then, you know, see what's going on with the weird music situation, get the answer on that, then install the Day 1 patch, and then be able to play with other friendos and stuff. So, you know, Two birds with one stone here, essentially. So, that's the plan, is to commit to the League Challenge. For two reasons. One, to see if the absence of level scaling rule <laughs> winds up ruining the game experience for the other routes or not. And two, to see what the heck is going on with the League music situation that I've heard about. So, two reasons. We're committing to the League Challenge. <laughs> 